<laughs> My lead says, who says the old man can't run? I know, man. I, um, it just was, it was a fighting moment. You know, it wasn't times that, spectacular times you see me run the last couple of years, but it was, it was a, it was a time where I needed to fight. You know, in these last, these last two rounds, semis and finals, you just had to go out and just fight for those rounds and get ready for the finals and just run over to the finish line. I knew that's what it was going to be. I watched, you know, Christian come along the last couple of races and he's dominated through from the start all the way through the finish line. So I had to make sure I was right there with him and try to hold on with experience. Well, Justin, you know, it looks like the last 20 meters, you really turned, you know, put a lot of effort into it. Were you thinking anything about you had to get out in front? Well, besides um, being injured this year, yeah. you know, I want to do something a little different, you know, with my race pattern. And if you watch a lot of my races for like 2004 and five, you know, I wasn't a great starter, but I, I finished really strong. And right. I wanted to be able to readapt that to my race pattern, you know, and have a top end kind of speed. And you know, one of the people I, I look at in, uh, is Tori Bowie. She she yeah. has a good start now. She gets out with the field, but she has great top end. And I just want to be able to to incorporate that back into what my race pattern is and have a good start but also finish well. How would you assess your sequence of restarts here at this meet? Um, I just I just didn't really, I really just thought about just being fluid. You know, um, the last couple races that I've had this season have not been fluid. You know, I've had either a good start or I had to run everyone down to have a good finish. And obviously, you know, I'm getting fourth or fifth here and there. And um, besides the injury part, I just didn't feel like I was putting my race pattern together. And today, you know, the first, actually the three races I had, you know, from yesterday and today, um, I felt like they became more fluid and I became more confident in my race pattern again. How special was it knowing you're going to be back in London at it, another world championship? <laughs> it's just been surreal. To be honest with you guys, I know I'm in the twilight of my career. And today, listening to the announcer name all my accomplishments that I've done in the last couple of years of my career, you know, um, I feel accomplished. So at this point in time, I think I'm balancing accomplishment and hunger. And I got to be able to find that hunger again. You know, um, these guys are just starting their career off. They're, they're just getting started. I got to make sure that I stay hungry and be able to say, this is something I want to fight for. How do you stay hungry? What do you have to do to get that hunger back? And you know, as your career goes on, the more success you have, that window of hunger becomes smaller and smaller. And for me, it's just, um, my coach said today, if you, are, if you are comfortable with what you've done in your career, at least give me these nine seconds today. That's exactly what he said to me. Yeah. And it, it somehow just lit a fire into me. I was like, he wants these nine, I'm gonna give you these nine. How special is it to know that you're gonna see Mr. Bold again? Uh, it feels great. You know, and, and the, the, the sweet thing is about it, you have two hungry guys who, who have no nervousness about them and they're hungry to go out there and make a name for themselves. So I feel like I'm getting ready, I'm suited up, and I have an army behind me and we're gonna go out there and be charge. Do you feel like you've lost a step from last year or do you feel like you're the same thing you've lost in the past? Um, it's, it's hard to say because, you know, mentally, I'm getting sharp again. Yeah. Physically, my body's catching up to where it needs to be. Like I said, I got injured early this season, right when it was time for me to do speed work. So it put me back three, it almost put me back three weeks, almost a month. Uh, groin, and then it went into, then it went into my hamstring, yeah. I mean my quad. So then yeah. from there, I just had to be able to like push the pace on practice. And I'm getting, getting my butt kicked by Isaiah in practice. And it just I had to make sure that it didn't like affect me mentally and just come out and say, you know, I gotta do what I have to do. Will you run the two? Will you run the two and what's your next meet in Europe? I don't know, I'm gonna sleep on it tonight. I'm yeah. sorry guys, I, I really know, but you know, um, my next meet is probably gonna be uh, actually Budapest. Budapest. So just get ready for that and just have fun this season and get ready for London. Right. Just Christian being involved, did you ever touch on yourself with the injury and stuff that you Oh yeah, for sure. I mean, you know, with the injury and then Knowing my age and then knowing that I'm comfortable with all the success I had in my career, I know I was trying to juggle and see exactly what it was. Is it me being complacent or is it me just because I'm being injured or is it me just because, you know, I just need to get sharp again? So then I had to like eliminate two things and say, all right, I just need to get sharp again. I need to fight for it. And I came out and I fought for it today. Did Christian beat the fact that Christian's a ball play into your motivation at all? I was walking to the call room and I was thinking about if I have to write a book, this whole scenario would be a chapter in my book. How some, somehow I feel like it's like a mirror image of watching Christian, what he's done this season, 
and I had to face that. I had to face him at the starting line, and it felt like I had to face a younger version of me, and a guy who's hungry, and he doesn't want to lose, and he wants to be the best he can be, you know, and um, he's confident himself. So running that race, I knew at the, in the middle part of the race, I just had to be relaxed and be confident in myself and get to the finish line first. Thanks. Man, I'm going, I'm, I'm taking the meat by meat. <laughs> meat by meat. Um, like I said, I mean, if I can go 2020, it'll be for my son, you know, to be able to take him to the Olympics and so he can understand, you know, what it feels to be an Olympian and be at the Olympics and experience that. He's been to two Olympic trials. He's old enough to understand what dad does. He doesn't want to run track at this point in time. He wants to be a scientist. I'm, I'm happy for that. But, um, you know, I, I'm past with it. I'm past the part where it means something for me. I have to do it for my loved ones now. The people who really care about me and want to see me do well. Thank you.